love watching those GQ 10 essentials videos where celebrities come up and they show us what their 10 essentials is, their day-to-day -day things, the things that they use all the time and that they sort of can't live without. But GQ isn't calling me. And I don't think they're calling me anytime soon. GQ South Africa, make a plan, my bro. We know, listen, how about putting a Dukka on the front cover? Your everyday guy. A relatable character. I love Maps Maponyane. I love serving Gacy. So is my friend. But we've seen his abs many times on the covers, eh? When about the Dukka? Put the proper person on there, man. Not someone that's just training. No disrespect. I, I also think that training is amazing and I like Maps Maponyane. I'm just saying. Anyway, so I'm making my own 10 essential things. And these are the 10 things that, you know, I use all the time and that I can't live without. And by the way, I'm trying to do like, maybe I should do a video on like what you should buy your dad, what men want, because I don't think women know what men want. And I think Natalie should do one, uh, 10 things she'd like for Christmas that, you know, then men can watch her one and women can watch my one. And then you can like sort of know, you know, the things that men sort of, because Natalie struggles to buy me gifts. And I'm so easy to buy for. And I struggle to buy our stuff. Anyway, these are my 10 essential things. First and foremost, I'm going to start with a Val hair cutter. This trimmer, a portable one. I bought this one overseas years ago because it's like, you know, you charge it and you can just cut you. I've been cutting my hair myself since I was 17 to try and save money. My dad used to give me 20 rand to have my hair cut in Port Elizabeth. In, on the top there by the blue note in... Uh, in in PEP, -E people will know. And then I was like, ah, I can some save this money. I asked my dad to buy me a clipper. He bought me my first one. It was also a Val. Uh, and that's almost 30 years ago. Tw well, 20 plus years ago. And uh, this is the one I use now. And it travels with me everywhere. And I shave my own head. Yeah, shave my own head. Very good. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is an ad break because this is not a sponsored video. I'm going to put my own ad into the video. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm coming to the Garden Route this December with my new one-man show, Unfit and Forty, The Trials and Tribulations of a Middle-Aged Married Man. We have tickets in Sedgefield, Paul, Mossel Bay, George, and of course, the Baxter in Cape Town. Tickets are going at a rate. So please get your tickets today on www.alfredadrian.com. My second essential is a sunglasses. Sunglasses. I love sunglasses. I think they make you look quiet. But you must get the right pair for yourself. I've got two pairs. I always buy my sunglasses only on special because they're very expensive. And I like good sunglasses because, you know, I have a UV and all the footer in South Africa. These I got recently. These are not, it's not like, it's not really a brand that I normally would buy, but I just like the way they look and they were on sale and they were at a good price. Just black on it. By the way, none of these people are paying me. I'm just saying the stuff I use. Um, these black on net ones are really cool. And I, I think it's going to be a staple for summer, you know, out and about easy to pop on, you know, it wasn't too expensive. So I'm not so concerned about them, but you know, I still try and look after this. And then I've got a second pair. Um, these are more expensive, but I also got them on sale years ago. They're called Persol. And a little bit more dressy when I go to a wedding with a suit on, I put these on. Like a turtle shell vibe. I like the way they're built. But anyway, none of these guys are paying me. I'm just telling you what I, I use all the time. Then, batteries. This is South Africa. It's always load shedding. This is a small one for my phone when I'm out and about. And this is a big one for that can charge my laptop. These two things are always with me. They are always with me. They, you know, essential, essential. Then speaking about laptops, I have a Mac. I know people are going, oh, it's so expensive. But I've used the Mac for more than 15 years now. I just know how they work. Um, I'm in the ecosystem. I'm in the cloud space. And I do all of my work. This is my office. Wherever I am, I edit videos, I email, I answer emails. It's all about this little 13-inch th um, uh, MacBook uh, Pro. They're not cheap. I know they're not cheap, but they are how, this is how I make my living. This and my cell phone, which is like doubles as a camera as well. 
um, and then I've got other cameras, but you know, I'm not gonna go into detail on that. Then I'm gonna speak about fragrances because I love smelling good. I love smelling good, man. It's a thing, it's a treat for me too. So, but if you had to, so I spend a little bit of money on it. Again, wait for your sales. Just before Father's Day, there's only 20% off at places, you know, there's websites and things like that. But if you went into a store and you picked up a bottle of Tom Ford Ombre leather and you smelt it, this is how Alfred smells. That is how I smell. This one's almost empty. I've been hesitating because they're not cheap. Um, I, I use this all the time. I love this. I'm a big fan of Tom Ford. I love Tom Ford. I also like this one. I just, I got this one about a year ago. It's called Gucci Intense Wood. Beauty, beauty, very woody, very male, you know. And then on smelling nice, I always have mints in my pocket. I always have mints. I'm all about oral hygiene. I've always been since a kid. Ethan's got that from me. He brushes his teeth like, in, like a lot. After he has sweets, he brushes his teeth. What kind of four year old have you ever heard? But I think it's from me. I love, like, I'm all about oral hygiene. And I always wear mints. And mints are actually not really good for your teeth, obviously. But in between, like, you know, you go for a coffee for a meeting. I do a lot of coffee meetings with people. So, like, I have a meeting with a person, you have a coffee, you have a coffee break. So I pop one of these in my mouth. Things are like a fresh. Also, I like my wife, you know, I really like her. And I want, I already, I'm a but you know, I'm not the most physical specimen on earth. So um, you must choose a battle, you know what I mean? At least, if you're not gonna go to the gym, at least smell sexy everywhere. So she wants to be close to me. So this is all about Natalie really, because this and this is all about trying to attract my wife. Then um, a very important thing to me is, because I travel a lot, is headphones. So when I'm in Cape Town, when I'm in Joburg, when I'm in Nelspray, Polo Kwane, wherever I find myself doing shows, I bought myself years ago a really good set of noise cancelling headphones. These are the Sony MX-01s, I think that's what they're called. But they are, well then they were the top of the line noise cancelling headphones and they are still working really well. When I'm overseas, what's very important is that they, like even now, I can't like hear anything. So they cup the ear, it's over the ear, not on the ear. The on the ear, blah, those things will hurt your ears. You're on a flight for 14 hours with that stuff on top of your ears, ah, you're not gonna enjoy yourself. These things, sometimes I don't even listen uh, to music. I just put them on, put the noise cancelling on, and then I sleep on the plane with them on because I can't hear a thing. It is, um, these, are, these are amazing. They are upgrades now, but this is the pair I love and die by. And also, they if they're not charged, if you lose power, you can plug these in, which is very handy. Especially when you're on flights, like you can plug them into that system. So headphones are essential. I also edit with them, which is great. Okay, then um, I think that it's very important for men and professional women to have a nice pen. Now, I would love to have a Mont Blanc, but they're very expensive. Can only act days and run for a pen, but darling, you can also lose these things easily. But I've got a nice Parker pen. And whenever I travel, or I know I'm gonna sign a big, like a document, I try and use Parker pen, because it makes me feel like an adult, man. You know, my dad said you must have a nice pen to sign with. My mother's also big in pens. I've got a nice pen. I travel with it when I, when I get at the airport and I like my pen eight for signing. So I use a nice little Parker. It's a nice pen, looks nice, looks like an adult. As this, so that's what I use. Um, then um, watches. I'm a big watch guy. I can't afford expensive watches. I wear this electronic watch. This is just recent. This is like an Apple watch. But I wear this because that reminds me because I'm very, like I've got a lot of things going on and then sometimes I forget. And this is like great for letting me know uh, what's happening in my life because it gives me alerts and then also checks my sleeping and all those fancy things. So I've been wearing this and it's quite handy. Also on stage, it buzzes when I'm, you know, when I'm supposed to wrap up the show. So I don't always look at my watch. It's not professional, doesn't look good. Don't, and also I don't like the distraction. So I'm wearing this, but my favorite watch, if I had to choose one watch, because listen, I'm a big watch guy. I like, um, you know, um, automatic watches and I could go on about watches forever. But if I had to choose one watch, one watch that if I had to just wear one watch for the year, 
it would be a G-Shock. I know, they're big, they're chunky, they're clunky, they're obnoxious. Some people don't like them. But what I like about them, you can get them at affordable prices and they can take a pounding. You knock this thing, you don't care. This is my second one. The first one they stole out of my hotel room. This is the one. I love a G-Shock. I love, I think G-Shocks, like if it's the only watch that I ever wear, I'll be happy with a G-Shock because it's digital. You can drop it from, like, they say the battery only lasts five years, but like I've had, my last G-Shock was 10 years old before they stole it. It was so heartbroken when it was gone. But you can swim with these. They can, I can run around with Ethan. Like they, I can't do it. So, um, G-Shock. And then underwear. I always like, listen, I know it's inappropriate. It feels inappropriate, but underwear is so important. The right underwear is so important. I change my underwear every six to eight months. Now he always goes, did you buy underwear again? I am hard on underwear, okay? Here he the ski in my car, so I always get the ones that are long. You know, the long legs, so that the friction. And I, I, I'm, I will, I'm very brand loyal. I wear jockey. I wear only jockey. Don't play with other things. I always wait until a game, there's a sale. I walk past the shop, I see 20% or 40% off. I go in there, they always have my extra large on, on. The big sizes are always on sale. So I always get them for better prices because they're not cheap. I buy like one or two at a time but I keep rotating them. You must have good underwear. Again, you must have good underwear. Because I mean, you can't get it, and just like I said, especially when you duck and you sit down, sometimes your underwear stick out. You want to have a nice underpants on if it's gonna peak out, you know what I mean? So, sorry, also for the friction, man. Three powder, but skier. So I use the long one that's tight and comfortable. You have to be comfortable. On stage, it's all about being comfortable. I can't be distracted by my underwear riding up. Uh, uh, jockeys. Jockey Camp, play me a sponsored video. There now, sneakers, ever since I left my day job, I stopped wearing shoes that much. I'm a big fan of a good pair of shoes, but I don't, I'm not traditionally in formal shoes all the time. I always look for a pair of shoes that are good, you're welted, shoe owners will know. But then I have like a few pairs and I take care of them well. And when I have corporate things that wear, you have to wear formal stuff, I wear those. But 99% of the time, I'm in sneakers. I've got two categories where sneakers fit in. I used to like old school tattoos. I just old school sneakers, all those things. Then one day, one year, me and John Christmas was in Australia together and we went into a sneaker shop and I was looking at tattoos and he, I was all in the old school stuff and he was all in the new stuff, like the new technology stuff. And then he told me, why are you buying this old technology? Why are you doing it to your ankles? You look cool, but I mean, can you walk 25, 18,000 steps with those things? Because when you're overseas, you're not, got no car, you're always in trams, you're always walking your ankles and my heavy set guy. And then I started going, yeah, he's actually right. So then I started moving my sneakers over from old school and those like, the only, the, the pair of shoes that I don't let go are superstars. I'm a huge superstar fan, like, like Adidas superstars, Shaltos. I wear those on stage sometimes, but that's like my stage shoes. I wouldn't be wearing those in like, like on my day to day. So I keep one pair that's like, Natalie just bought me a new pair that's really like pristine. So when I'm on stage, I'm in those. Also another set of stage shoes that I wear is Freedom of Movement. It's a local brand. This is it. This is like you, in my new special, I wear these on my foot because they're very comfortable. They're made locally freedom of movement they're not they never they don't even know who i am but i think they make great stuff they make more leather products like leather wallets and jackets they make those fellies that Tia Khaleesi wears uh but this is the high top i wear this i, I wore this on stage i wear these because they look cool and they look nice and they're very comfortable and then my all time if you told me the ones i wear the most it's not cheap they're on sale every now and then then i bought buy them again it's like november now so there's a lot of sales these things now listen, I don't even think these tackies look good. These are ultra boost, these are running shoes, I'm not a runner. But these are the most comfortable shoes I've ever had in my life. Years ago, I started wearing Nikes um, because I went to a Nike show, shop and they looked at my ankles and I was pronating or something like that. My ankles are sore. So then they told me I need to buy shoes that lift me up like that. And then I started with Nike, but they didn't look like something I could wear with the jeans. It was running shoes, you know? So then I started looking at these and I must say that these are, uh, it's a love affair. Like I can walk in these things. They are so comfortable. 
Like you can walk. These are the most comfortable shoes I have in my cupboard right now. Ultra Boost. These are 22s, but you can get like the 21s or the retros. Like I've got another pair, I've got two pairs, one white, one black, so that I can change the outfits. So these are the, listen, like I said, they're not even like aesthetically that good looking. They're just that comfortable. So if you ever want to buy a pair, buy them on sale because they're not, they're not cheap. I've got, like I got this pair on sale. They were half price marked off. And then I got them like for 1,500 Rand, which is a lot of money already. But if you had to buy them like at full retail, I think they're like three grand. They're very expensive. So these are great shoes. Really good shoes. I also like wearing those on shoes that I used to wear. Those are also great for my ankles. But day-to-day -day drivers, get yourself a pair of these. Trust me, just get your size, walk around with them. If you have a dad that has like an older man, get these. These are amazing. Again, Adidas. Come on, man. Why? None, none of these brands are paying me. But I think that these are the things I wear every day. And if you'd like to see more of these kinds of videos, let me know. Yeah, that's my not GQ tennis angel thing.